Welcome to Tanzu on VMware vSphere with cloud control integration. So on the previous example, you saw that I was able to do deploy images that were from the private registry and also from the Tuntun registry, public registry. Now I'm going to modify my deployment control policy. So only specific images from the private registry allowed. So if I go to my private registry here, you can see that I have all these images on the registry, right? And what I'm going to do is create a rule that's only going to allow the CV test image to be deployed and anything else from the private registry is going to be denied. So let's go back to our deployment policy here. I'm going to bring it up again. Add it, right? And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, create a, a rule. So I have a, a signature rule. I have attribute rule and I have vulnerability, vulnerabilities rule, right? So I'm going to change. I'm going to enable my uh, attribute rule. And what I did here is um, I'm going to enable my exception list, which is going to say anything with image name called CVD test with tag latest is allowed. And on the white list, I'm going to say anything that does not match CV star is going to be denied. So in other words, uh, I should be able to create, deploy a pod with an image that is called CV test, using CV test. And if it's not CV test, it should be denied from the private registry. So I'll apply that. And I'm going to go back here to my comment prompt. So in here, I have this YAML file called So uh, well, let's try the CV test image first, coming from our private registry. So let's do that. I'm creating the pod and it should deploy, no problem. Now I have another YAML file here, which, which is the BusyBox. I'm gonna use the BusyBox image from the private registry. And you see here that I'm using the BusyBox image, right? and it's from the private registry. So if I try to deploy that, this is not matching the rules. Again, permission denied, forbidden because of the security policy in place. So this is another way of controlling what images from the private registry in this case. This is gonna be our third and final example. Now we're going to change our, our deployment control policy. So we only allow images with a specific number of vulnerabilities or with no vulnerabilities in this case. If you go back to our registry here that we onboarded, uh, we talk about the vulnerabilities part of the onboarding process where cloud control goes in and analyzes, assesses every single image in the, in the private registry and is capable of figuring out how many vulnerabilities are on each image. So you can come in and say, okay, I'm gonna create a deployment policy where if an image has a vulnerability, a vulnerability, it's not gonna be deployed. Or you can give a threshold where saying instead of, if an image has more than uh, 30 vulnerabilities, for instance, it will not be deployed. So in our example here, we're gonna change the deployment control policy so and we're going to use the vulnerabilities rule and only allow images that have at least 30. The minimum number of vulnerabilities on the low side is going to be 30. So I have this OJW HTPD, as you can see, it has 69 vulnerabilities. And, and you can see here that CV test has no vulnerabilities. So well, let's go back to our trust manifest. And I'm going to modify it again. Add it. So what I'll do is I'll disable the attribute rule next to using the private registry. And I'm going to look at the vulnerability rule and I'm going to enable that. So as you can see here, I'll give the name. And then I, as you can see here, I'm just going to use the defaults that are available, but you can set thresholds based on, on the critical, high severities, medium severities, and so on. 
So anything, now this is enabled, anything that has 30 or more is gonna, on the negligible side, is gonna not be allowed to deploy. I'll validate my rule. Remember, if this is applied to any any image on the registry because I'm not using the attribute rule, and I'll apply that. So going back to my command prompt here, clear here. I have a another YAML file that is using the image that has more abilities. Here I'm using the OJ HTTPD latest image. According to our registry, this guy has 69 vulnerabilities and I'll actually hold this story. So if I try to deploy this guy, it's, it's gonna fail. So let's do that. You can see that I have a failure again, permission denied by Hatwise security policy. So, and if I try to deploy our CV test image, which has no vulnerabilities, is able to deploy. If I try to deploy the BusyBox image, also able to deploy. As you can see, this is a really cool feature of cloud control where you can harden your security policies so you can enforce images to be created with no with little vulnerabilities or no vulnerabilities so they can actually be deployed on your environment so this is something that you can use to make your security policies apply pretty much enforce and force the, the development team for instance or developers to make sure that images that they create has no has less vulnerabilities or no vulnerabilities well, we got to the end of this presentation. Feel free to check out our documentation site for the integration guide. We create an integration guide for this, which goes into details on what we have talked here. I hope you enjoyed and have a great day. Thanks for watching.